All right. Hey, everybody. This is Mitchell here, and I'm joined by a few of our amazing staff team, uh, Lauren and Shannon. And uh, this is the first installment of what we're going to unofficially call What's Happening This Week. So uh, we're still developing the graphic for that, so that'll be, that'll be coming. But what's happening this week around community and around our location in Montgomery and something that's happening that is going awesome that has just started uh, with Kid City, uh, Shannon is going to tell us about. So Shannon, tell us about something exciting that's happening right now in Kid City. All right, so we just started small groups for all of our Kid City kids last Sunday, and it was amazing. We had a lot of kids come and leaders, and it was just a lot of fun. So we have groups at 915 and 1030, and they are for preschoolers through fifth graders, and we have them broken up by ages, and the leaders will lead a discussion and have a little game and activity for the kids, and it's just so much fun. My kids have been enjoying it. They did the test group this summer, and I just loved hearing their laughs and smiles, and just, it was great. Um, you can sign your kids up at our website communitychristian.org slash kids there's a place to sign up for small groups you can get connected to our kid city facebook page and our youtube channel where we post each week's video lessons so i hope your kids will sign up because it's a lot of fun awesome yeah and parents out there if you haven't had an opportunity uh sign those kids up for kid city groups they're off and running and going uh amazingly well uh we just wrapped up a series called love where you live uh, and we have an opportunity to really practice that. And Lauren, what's, what's that all about? Well, we are doing a, uh, a service project next Saturday. I wanna tell you guys about this opportunity. Um, we are serving with the Neighbor Project. So on Saturday, September 26th, from 8.30 to 12, we will be doing yard work at a local residence in our community which goes great with what we were just talking about in our last sermon series. Um, I love opportunities like this because it's a chance for us to reach people in our community and remind them that they are loved and they are cared for. Um, so if you have any questions or interest in this, um, make sure to visit our Facebook page or you can just email Mitchell at mitchellshiver at communitychristian.org. Um, but honestly, this is going to be so awesome, and I'm hoping that you guys can come and make sure and invite your friends and tell them to grab some work gloves for some fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's just a great and easy way, really, to make a difference in our community. Uh, so that's going to be great. Thank you, Lauren. And this weekend, we start a brand new series at Community Online called Mind Matters, and it is all about uh, mental health mental health. And you might be wondering, hey, what's the connection between mental health and spiritual health? Well, Jesus says in Matthew 22 uh, that we are to love the Lord, uh, your God, with all your heart, all your soul, and what? All of your mind. And so uh, Jesus cares about the condition of our minds. And this weekend, we're going to be talking about anxiety. So I want to invite all of you to join us for services at Community Online. Invite a friend uh, it's going to be a great series that's going to be helpful, to, I believe, to every single person uh, that's watching and participating. And one last thing, Love Where You Live is happening next Tuesday, September 22nd, 7 p.m. at Montgomery. Uh, we are going to have an amazing time of worship and prayer. If you missed the first one in, in August, this is your chance. If you were there in August, come back and join us again. Invite a friend. It's going to be awesome. Trust me, I'm watching the weather. The weather's going to be great, and we're going to have an awesome time together. So that is the first installment of what's happening this week. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We will see you soon.